Hello there. Yesterday we replaced the uh, screen in the laptop, upgraded from a TN to an IPS. Today we're going to do a upgrade from a non-lit keyboard to a backlit keyboard. Um, in this MSI GL62 6QF. I hope it works. It feels pretty good. So let's set this aside and we will uh, get to that when we finish this, taking it apart at least. So, I'm gonna have to take this laptop apart. It's gonna take me a little bit, but uh, I'm just gonna get started. replacing the keyboard and actually the entire panel of this laptop with a new one. The uh, buttons are further down in the keyboard so it doesn't work as well. You can see that the panel is pretty much in line with a couple of these keys so you can't press down as much. With this one the keys are not flush with the panel and therefore you can push them down. Together and I would press down on the keyboard in some places and the computer would reboot. So I took it apart, see what was wrong, and kind of thought that there might be some contact, uh, metal contact on the keyboard to the motherboard. So like this back plate, I threw it away already. The back plate that holds the keyboard on has a couple of those knobbies that are not exactly in the same place as they were before. So they're touching the back of the motherboard and causing a short. And so if I were to, you know, like press down hard on some parts of the keyboard, then the computer would reboot. And so I was able to file off part of uh, the nubs that were there. And I also took the kind of keyboard protector that was on the uh, back of the keyboard or whatever you want to call it of the previous one. And I put it on this new one. 
so it has that barrier so it doesn't touch the the, the motherboard so it won't reboot <laughs> so i think i fixed that problem but unfortunately i don't know if this is caused by me or because of the keyboard but there are seven keys that don't work and so i've got this recording and i've gone to keyboardtester.com and I've, I've gone through this a couple times just to you know make sure or whatever but you can just go through your keyboard and press all the keys and then it'll tell, it will show you which ones are not registered so if i go through and you're going to hear some clicks i'm just running at the top of the cross and just go each row just go through and turn that up and i think that's everything okay <clears throat> so <laughs> um the windows key works okay so that pops up all right alt works okay and those guys work on the right side but you can see the escape does not work so so escape does not work tilde does not work tab does not work Y does not work. Left bracket does not work. Five on the numpad does not work. <laughs> and period on the numpad does not work. Like, what? That's a weird selection of keys that are on uh, one circuit or something. I don't know how the layout is, but. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. At least seven keys are not working. <sighs> yep. So that's the problem I was dealing with. Besides that, I ripped out the <laughs> the lighting connector on the motherboard. Uh, not that it was working in the first place, anyways. And so the lighting power connector on the motherboard I accidentally ripped off. Uh, but this problem with the keys not working was happening before this, or before I accidentally knocked that out. So that's not the problem. The other problem is that lighting, the, the keyboard lighting doesn't work anyways. I guess the laptop motherboard doesn't support it, even though it has had <laughs> a connector for it. So I don't know what to do about that. Uh, just use a keyboard and you can still sort of use this for portability, but yeah. It's still a basic computer, like it's faster than a $1,200 portable, you know, 13 inch laptop. So there's something, but uh, yeah, there's that. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the frustration and I will see you guys next time. Bye. I muted it. I muted it. Ha, that's right. I'm still recording. <laughs>